education. Today I have Snooky, my Nande Cronier, with me. He's hanging out on this beautiful Saturday. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your comments, likes, the loves. I'm getting emails from people all over the world. Our channel is growing. And you know what? It's all about you and bird education. You guys are my bird friends. I don't consider you YouTube channel fans or subscribers. You're my friends. So each one of you just know that you're very important. Today we're gonna to talk about something very simple, having a plan in place if you had to evacuate your home. In my home state of Nebraska, last month they had historic flooding. It was due to having so much snow that was melting along with the rain. They lost all kinds of animals. It was so sad and unfortunate. Over a million cattle, there was calves, the horses were in very dangerous situations where they had to sit in the water for days until they got rescued. The sad part was as many of the people that were in certain parts of this flood were given notice that they had to evacuate and leave their home. They did not take their animals with them. There were birds, there were dogs and reptiles and cats that were left behind. I don't know why. It makes no sense to me why you would leave your animal in your home to die. And in some situations, there were actually, there was one person that was a breeder of dogs. They had their dogs in kennels in the barn and left them. They didn't, they couldn't even get out of the kennel. They were just going to die with, with the waters rising rapidly. So I wanted to make this short video to give you a reminder that please have a kennel or a bird carrier in place for your bird for if you had to evacuate your home quickly. It could be because of a flood, a hurricane, a fire if you have enough time. This is gonna help save your bird's life. Also, you can use your bird carrier in the event that you had a tornado warning and you had enough time to grab your bird, get the carrier. We have a plan in place here at our home that if we have enough notice, we're gonna get all our birds, as many as we can, into kennels for if there was a tornado warning and then we go into our bathroom because we do not have a basement. And you can use the carrier for when you have to take your bird to the vet or in our situation, we do a lot of field trips. We have birds go with us to schools or outings, sometimes our church events. So it's always good to have a kennel nearby. All right, so here is the storage closet. It's in my garage. It's close to my kitchen. Here are the kennels that we have in place for if we need to quickly get the birds in kennels. There's that one. We've even got a little one for our Pacific Parallettes. I've got two kennels here, and these are what we transported Cairo and Ruby the larger macaws in when we moved to Texas. All of our green cheek conures and sun conures and Quakers would all be going into these right here. I've also got some bottled water for if we needed it in an emergency. And we do not use that water, it's just left here for that purpose. This is the skinny on it. Have your kennels ready for an emergency to get your birds out if you need it to be evacuated or if you need to protect them, this is the way to go. If you needed to leave your home, take your bird with you. I don't understand why all these animals were left behind because they shouldn't have been. I don't know all the situations, but I do know from the animal control officers that there was enough time that they could have taken their, their pet with them. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Comment below. Tell me what your thoughts are. Am I missing something? Why would these people just leave their pets behind? There was a cockatoo in a cage. It just was going to die. Why would someone do that? I don't understand.